Hi, my name is Mark Nook. I'm the Interim Chancellor at the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point. I'd like to recommend the book Canoeing with the Cree by Eric Severide. This is a, tra a book about a transformation of two young men. Uh, the year they graduated from high school, they decided to canoe from their hometown of Minneapolis-St. Paul, Minnesota, to York Factory on Hudson Bay. It's a story of their trip um, through Minnesota and Manitoba. Uh, it's an adventure story, but it's really a story of how these two boys um, transformed to becoming young men. Uh, it's a story, that they took this trip uh, in a wooden canvas canoe, they named the Sansuchi without care, and as they went along, Eric Severide uh, sent letters back, stories back, to uh, a paper in the Twin Cities that, that were published on a weekly basis. And so there is a nice journal, this is really a journal log of that trip, and uh, the adventures they have, the people they meet, uh, are really amazing. Uh, one of the aspects of this book that makes it really unique is the trip was taken in 1930 and much of what they recorded about the people they met, especially from Lake Winnipeg in, in central Manitoba up to Hudson Bay, uh, are some of the best uh, ethnographic recordings of the people of that time. Uh, the Cree Indians were uh, living uh, much as they had for for hundreds and thousands of years. Uh, the fur traders and trappers were also very prevalent and missionaries still traveling up and down the rivers and through the lakes and streams of the region. So it's an amazing sort of accounting of what the people were like in the 1930s, still living the original ways and the ancient ways. Um, in the end, uh, they did finally make it to York Factory just before Hudson Bay froze up. And then uh, we're able to catch a a train back to uh, Winnipeg and ultimately back to Minneapolis. And as they finish the, the book up, uh, they realize how much they have changed uh, that summer and that many of their friends have not. Eric Severide went on to, became, to become a, a decorated journalist, uh, news anchor, uh, a very influential person within Washington circles as well. Walter Port, his friend uh, uh, and, and companion on this journey, uh, attended college as well, served in the military, and uh, um, spent most of his life in Alaska and Bemidji, Minnesota, um, and uh, continued to help other people um, endeavor in their adventures as well. So it's a great story of two young boys and how one summer they transformed their lives. So I hope you enjoy the book, Canoeing with the Cree by Eric Severide.